You too, what up? And right now we got uh, Paolo and Chiro. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his last name right. That's my bad if I didn't, you know, it is what it is. Everybody that's becoming a lottery pick or become, you know, just becoming superstars be having the most craziest, uh, you know, names i never seen before. You know what I mean? So y'all know how that shit go and that shit gonna continue to happen, bro. Cause uh, somebody actually came up with a good ass argument. Not even an argument, a good statement. On Twitter, they were like, what happened to uh, people getting drafted from the trenches? And somebody was like, because usually people from the trenches, you know what I'm saying, ain't able to afford their kids to go to these big ass AAU tournaments, bro. So they're not, they're not able to be molded and shit like that. But that's a whole nother discussion for a whole nother day. This nigga right here is the truth, straight up. And uh, I've seen him, I've seen him, the only time I seen him play was he was playing my team, Arkansas. And uh, I think that was the Elite Eight. And they went to the Final Four. I think they went to the championship game. I'm not really sure, but he put up a shot. I'm like, man, who the fuck, who the fuck is this kid? He fuck, they somebody, he's 6'10", 240. He, he, get to, he get to his spot. You know, shooting off the dribble, going to the basket, grabbing rebounds. I'm like, man, this dude need to be the number one pick. And I ain't seen him play throughout the uh, college season last year. And then everybody was talking. I said, of course, I seen uh, Chet uh, Gonzaga, however you pronounce this shit. They play Arkansas. We put and we whooped it. We, we, we whooped their ass, bro, straight up. And Chet, he did. You know, his skills is there. I can see it. But what's gonna hold him? What's gonna hold him back is his physical frame. Cause when he played against the big guys, the physical guys, they ain't gonna play with him. And especially Chet is a, is a, he likes to, he's very confident, which I like about him. But some, some the other NBA players been here for a minute. They got, that's gonna rub him off the wrong way. So they're gonna be gunning for him just like Lonzo Ball in 2016. You know what I'm saying? Or 2017. But let's go ahead and get into this shit, bro. He dropped 23, six and six. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. If y'all want me to continue to watch like the full highlights, like the real deal highlights of the summer league, y'all just let me know. Y'all just like the video, that will let me know everything I need to know. But uh, yeah, I'm a fan of this dude, bro. I, I knew he should have been. I know he was supposed to be the number one pick. Everybody was talking about check, woo woo woo. I'm like, man, they tripping. They better get this nigga, bro. He a guarantee. 6'10", 240, and he mobile like that. Nigga, what? You you be tripping if you ain't get him. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. The Magic did exactly what they were supposed to do. I hope you Markel Fultz could be a, uh, the starting point guard. So they deep, they deep over there. I ain't gonna lie. Simpson with the steal. Bancaro. Boy, put his body right into Kada, and he is folks all of six ten. Oops. Boy, look at that frame mark. Six six two ten. Great size. So he's gonna be able to guard. He's got to check uh, Bancaro here. That's a problem. That's a big. Look at that frame. Let's start over. Put his body right into Kada. And he is, folks, all of 6'10". Boy, look at that frame mark. 6'6", 210, great size. So he's going to be able to guard. He's got to check uh, Boncaro here. That's a problem. That's a big problem. That's a big problem. That's a big problem. Caught a mouse in the house. Difference of four and a half inches. And he's only going to get bigger, like as far as muscle mass. When he get, when he get the really just hitting them weights, man, it's over. Just Mr. Boncaro showing off. What the hell are they doing? With another little bit of room service at the other end. Hey! We're in Vegas, so we'll take some showtime. Showing exactly why. Competing on the defensive end. Hey! A little flair. Why not? It's Vegas. <laughs> Knocks down the second free throw. It's, it's, a, it's the summer game. league. Fuck it. Let's watch him move his feet here against Bancaro. Paolo got a step and got the layup. Only taking three shots here, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> hey, good shot. Uh, everybody been talking about uh, R.J. Hampton been dribbling the fuck out that ball and shit like that. Like he been ball hogging on the cool. But y'all, y'all leave R.J. Hampton alone, man. Oh, it slid like a walk though. But that was a good move though. So quickly. All right. My goodness, Yeah, that was slick a walk. Good double team. That was slick a walk. By Ellis. They got the turnover, but it goes to Bancaro. Ooh. Kicks it out to a wide open Terry. Yeah, bro, Cole, bro. 
You know, everybody ain't gonna be able to uh, drive the basketball like a LeBron James and a Giannis Antetokounmpo, but in a couple of years, motherfuckers is gonna be fearful when it gets ahead of steam. You know what I'm saying? It's like Zion. Like that's why I'm so excited to watch Zion play again this year, this upcoming year. Give me that weak ass shit. Give me that. Strong finish at the rim. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Houston, he got a high motor. Shot clock at three. Got to get busy with it. Tough turn. Good shot. Money. De Niro. Ellis gets the ball. Lob. Kato Give me that. Had it knocked away by Bankero, but a foul was called on the play. Oh, this went to a second overtime? No, he hits the ball. He hits the ball. Do they have their challenge left? You got to use the your challenge. Not on. I, I don't know if they have the challenge. Nope. Orlando is challenging the previous foul. The number one pick. A challenge in a summer league game, bro. That shit crazy. Thank you. Good pass. Terry. Got it. And one. Time to go home. The magic win. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Nice. Oh God, he nice. If y'all like the video, man, y'all make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe. Y'all want me to continue to uh, react to the Summer League and sports in general. It doesn't have to be just basketball. It could be hockey. Whatever the fuck y'all want. Just let me know, man. And I'm going to fuck with y'all on the next one, bro. I'm out of here.